So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the fear of success. And I can personally tell you that this is something that can truly hold us back. I'll never forget back about 10 years ago when I fell in love with a fitness class and I was like, oh my gosh, this is the most fun thing in the world. How could working out be so fun? I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but holy cow, when you find a workout that you love, you like are addicted and you want it to just be everything in your life. So for me, that workout was something called Turbo Kick. I'll never forget the first time I went. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, the music's fun and the girl up there is dancing and I can't dance, but I'm gonna fake it. I mean, come on, I do that in Zumba too. But uh, I remember just loving it. And then the pounds started to melt off and I was becoming happier and I was becoming a better everything to everybody in the world. And then the instructor said to me, Molly, you should become an instructor. And every fear and doubt and every negative thought came into my head. I loved the program, I loved what it was doing for me, but I could suck at this. I don't know if I could do this. I don't know if I could be like you. Those were all the thoughts going through my head. And so I phoned a friend. In fact, I phoned one of my sisters and I said, hey, it's Molly, I need some advice, which I recommend to you when you start to have those doubts and something amazing comes into your life or someone amazing recommends something super cool that could change your life. Phone a friend, phone someone who knows you really well. And I said, hey, so this instructor told me I should become a, a fitness instructor. I, I don't know what, I don't think I can do this. And she said, why not? Okay, everyone needs someone in their life that says, why not? Why not you? If I can be that person to you, then I'm gonna be that person. So she was like, why not you? And I said, because I don't know how to pep up a class and I don't know if I can cue and oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm gonna look as good in those pants as she does. <laughs> and I'm just joking, I didn't say that, but maybe I did. But I remember just everything coming into my head and then I thought, what, what, should I do this? I don't know. And she said, but Molly, what if you are really good at this? What if?" What if people come to your class and flock to you? What if you could change someone's life the way that Rebecca changed your life? What if you could be that person? You could be that life changer. What if it's something that you fall in love with? What if it's something that totally lights a fire in you? Like I know this class does, but what if instructing and helping others is something that you are good at? What if you have success? I won't lie to you. I was so scared. I had fear of success. And so guess what I did? I put it off and I put it off and I thought about it. Don't suffer from think about itness. It's a bad disease. It's an ugly disease that can literally help you just, it could literally keep you from achieving all the things that is set forth before you. So no more think about itness. I'll never forget it. I put it off and put it off until finally the, uh, Rebecca said, Molly, it's time to sign up and it's time to pay the $300 or whatever. And I remember thinking to myself, 300 bucks? Oh my gosh, we're on like a really tight budget. We are on such a tight budget, my husband and I. I don't know if I can invest $300 into this, but I did because you have to invest in yourself, especially if it's something that you believe in. And so I remember going to my husband and saying, C can we spend $300 so I can take this class so I can become an instructor and not make a lot of money being an instructor, but doing something that I love. Did you know that instructors don't make a lot of money? I'm just letting you know. Um, but it was something that I loved and so he said yes because he knew something in me was just so excited. So I had fear of success, you guys. I don't know if you have ever had that fear of success. What if, what if I fail is one, something we've already talked about, but what if I'm good at it? And what if I put myself out there and people see flaws in me? Or what if I found out stuff about myself um, and you know, what all these thoughts come in your head, right? You have fear of success. You have fear of people discovering things about you. I'm not gonna lie, when I decided to do Molly Motivates, I was scared. I was like, what if people want me to do a lot of videos? What if people, what if I am able to change lives? Like, that's scary that, I don't know, it's just all that, but it's just about our mindset. And so I want to encourage you guys to embrace whatever it is that you like embrace it and go for it. And if you can get paid doing it, that's crazy. Like I remember thinking I could get paid to teach a class. I could get my, my gym membership paid for. I get paid to do something I love. I get paid to change people's lives. Sign me up. Why am I scared? Why do I have fear of success? This is the thing. Sometimes we are raised to think that we aren't powerful, that we aren't worthy that we don't matter. I know that sounds sad, but it could just be something that we learned as a kid. But I am here to tell you that you are worthy, you matter, and you have gifts to share with people. You need to find out what those gifts are. Like hopefully you're discovering that along with these videos. But 
you have what it takes to really go and be a success. So ditch those things that we were taught as kids or any of those uh, self-doubts or those uh, things that make you feel like stuck in your life and you're just like, I can't get over the time that my dad told me this. I can't get over that. I want you to be like, I'm over that because that's holding me back. And, and I am worthy of success and, and I can be a positive influence to others and I can go and live the life that I wanna live. I, I'm here to tell you that it's possible for you. If it was possible for me, it's possible for you. And so stop having fear of success. I, I really want you to switch that mindset and tell yourself, I am a success. Remember, write down the opposite. I am worthy. I am talented. I am smart. I have an opportunity to do something I love. I can change people's lives. I mean, know that about yourself. Flip that switch. If it's not about a job, if it's just about, it, not just, but if it's about your, let's say it's about your weight loss. Don't say to yourself, I'm scared. What happens if I lose that 20 pounds? Then what? I'll, I'll never have to talk about losing weight again. Sometimes we feel, it, we, we feel comfortable in that constant struggle. We feel like, um, but I've always complained about my weight. So once I reach my goal weight, then what am I going to complain about? I know that sounds bad, but it's what we do, right? Um, and, and if I am a success and I lose that 30 pounds, uh, how am I going to, what next? Who knows what's next? But usually on the other side of fear, is something amazing. And so you've got to try it because why stay where you are? Why stay in that comfort zone? That's not how we grow. That's not how we evolve. That's not how we find our true happiness. I want you to grow, evolve, and find such crazy happiness. It's ridiculous, but you've got to get past the fear, the fear, the doubts, all that, and the fear of your success because you can be a success and it's really amazing when you reach it. So I want you to be brave. Seriously, have that courage to break through anything that's been stopping you and say, you know what? I'm better than this. And, and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna change my thoughts, okay? And, and I'm gonna, it's gonna help me feel so much better. I'm gonna feel powerful. I'm gonna feel amazing. I'm gonna feel like it is possible. And when you change your thoughts and your feelings, your actions are going to serve the purpose that you want to go and get your results. It's a whole cool effect. And so change your thoughts, change your mindset, and you will change your life. Do some brainstorming in your journal. Hopefully you have a journal. Write down your thoughts, write down why you're scared of succeeding, and then break through that and say, I can do this. I am powerful and I have what it takes. I'll see you on the next video. I am so proud of you for watching all of these. We have a couple more, so stay tuned.